Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Hey my friends, we're gonna dive deep into some numbers. So I've taken zero to 10 and I've mixed them up for you. Now it's really important to identify the number, but numbers also have quantities, they have amounts, right? So if I write a number five up on the board and I ask you to make a set of five, you could have five fingers that matches, right? That's number sense, that's understanding that a number has a quantity, has an amount. Well, today I just wanna focus on identifying those numbers out of order because we count them in standard order all the time on our calendar, but we need to mix them up sometimes so that we can, we can recognize them outside of our calendar, right? Our calendar has standard order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Well, now we gotta mix them up so that no matter where the number is, you will be able to recognize it. Now on my little, my little posters, they have some strategies for you. You can count the red dots, or you can use the place value blocks on it to figure out what number it is. So I'll show you, and you'll tell me what the number is. Oh, I'm so proud of you, my friends. We have to remember our numbers, don't we? For, for kindergarten, first grade? Well, what if you go to the store? You need to know how much that gum costs, right? How much that candy or chips or, or soda costs. If you go to the store, you need to know how much money you need. You have to be able to identify that number so that you can get your money ready to pay for it. We use money all the time and money has numbers. It's really important for us to know numbers just in general, right? It helps us with measuring and weighing and huh, comparing. It, has, it helps us do lots of things. It also helps us with addition and subtraction. We'll be doing that later. I'm so excited to do that later with you. You ready to identify numbers with me? To put on your, your glasses and recognize them and tell me what it is? Tell me which number it is? Okay, here we go. If you're ready, kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. Throw some glitter. Make it rain. I can't wait to hear you tell me the numbers. What number is this one? I did give you a hint already, didn't I? What number is this? It's also written right there if you want to sound it out. These are some really great strategies to remember the number. Sounding out the word, the number word, counting the red dots in our 10 frame, or using our ones from our place value. What number is this? Did you say five? You got it. Great job. I hope you use one of the strategies. Those are really important, isn't it? Especially with mathematics. We have to have strategies in place, don't we? I'll be making a video about mathematical strategies soon, especially when it comes to counting so we count correctly. It's so important to count. What's, what's this number? Huh, what's this number? Did you say two? You got it, great job, my friend. What's this number? Did you count the red dots? Great job, that's a great way to do it, it's 10. That's the biggest number we're going over today and you got it. Great job, keep going. Oh, they're mixed up. It's going all over the place. What's this number? Use your strategies. Did you say seven? Great job, my friend. You're getting so good at this. What number is this? What number is this? I hear somebody counting. Great job counting. It's three. You're right. The last number that you count tells you how many you've been practicing. I'm so proud of you. Let's try this one. What's this? 
number. Huh. We could sound it out, or we can count the red dots, or we can count the place value cubes at the bottom. What number is this? Did you say nine? You got it. That's right. I'm gonna try to trick you. What's this number? What's this one? Oh, this is my favorite one. It's fun to teach too. What number is this one? It's zero. It means nothing. It means it's all gone. If I had zero cookies, that means Joshua ate them all, didn't he? And I always have zero. <laughs> He's such a silly boy, isn't he? He's a cute little son though, isn't he? Zero, it means nothing. It means all gone. It means none. See, there's no red dots in our 10 frame. That's for common core. We use 10 frames for common core, don't we? Good job, my friends. Here we go, here's our next one. Oh goodness, what number is this one? Or oh, what number is this one? Do you know this number? Use your strategies. Did you say six? You got it. Great job, my friend. Oh, my friends are doing such a good job with recognizing their numbers and using their strategies. Even if they don't know that number, they can still count those red dots. That's a good strategy. What's this number? What's this number? Use your strategies. Eight, you got it. Great job, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Here's another one, you ready? Here we go. What's this one? What's this one? What's this number? Good job, you got it. It's four. I'm going to trick you. It's going to be silly. Are you ready? What is this one? Get it? Because it's a one. <laughs> What's this one? It's a one. That's our last one for today. You used lots of strategies today to recognize numbers. I'm so glad that these posters have these strategies on there for you. Because sometimes recognizing numbers at first can be hard until we memorize them, right? And we also know that they make a set. We can use our little 10 frame here. You see? You can show one with just one dot in a 10 frame. It did that for each one of those. Great job, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for practicing your numbers with me and putting on those binoculars and identifying them correctly and using your strategies. It's so important to always double check our math, right? We have to double check our work. So when you were counting the red dots, if you counted twice just to make sure that you got it right, you're using excellent strategies that you can use in first grade and second grade and third grade and college. College math, you have to double check it all the time to make sure you get it right. I'm so proud of you, my friends. I'll see you next time. I love you. See you later.